Let's get some insight now from Bill Emmett. He's an independent writer, lecturer, and consultant on international affairs, and the former editor-in-chief of The Economist. He joins me from Oxford in the United Kingdom. Uh, Bill, great to have you on the program. I, I understand that you actually had the opportunity to meet Shinzo Abe several times. What do you remember most about him during your personal interactions? Well, um, very good to be on the show, Rachel. I think um, what I first remember was meeting him when he was a rising man in the Liberal Democratic Party. It must have been around 2004, 2005. Uh, and what struck me is that unlike most politicians, he had a very strong grasp of the details of policy. He policy, Politicians are often more flying at 35,000 feet than reading their briefs and uh, worrying about pension reforms, whereas he seemed very detail-oriented. Later, when I met him um, subsequently, between his two terms of office, after he'd actually had a disastrous first year in many ways, lost office, and then spent some time in the wilderness, his attention had shifted. He really was most keen to talk about foreign affairs, most keen to talk about China, most keen to talk about Japan's need to stand up to China, but also to rebuild its foreign uh, posture uh, in the Asia-Pacific region, of course, alongside the United States. But also what was clear in his mind was that Japan couldn't always depend on the United States. It had to stand on its own feet as well. I know that you're also in the process of writing his obituary. On looking back at his political career, his legacy, what do you think he'll likely be most remembered for? Well, I think he'll be remembered, of course, number one, for his longevity in office. Um, it's remarkable by Japanese standards that he took, he had eight years as prime minister. And that eight years gives him primarily a diplomatic legacy, a legacy in foreign affairs, which is a result of that longevity. In other words, his consistency, constant presence, knowledge of him had a big impact on Japan's reputation around the world, I think. But also, he did rebuild Japan's foreign policy. He reconstructed with a new seriousness the way Japan thought about national security, built a national security secretariat inside the prime minister's office, akin to that in the White House, and sought to step by step strengthen Japanese, the Japanese military, but also build much closer diplomatic relations across the whole Indo-Pacific. Indeed, he really... I, invented the term Indo-Pacific, at least in international affairs, with a view to getting closer to India, to creating a strategic space within Asia that was not one that China was likely to be able to dominate in future, uh, and that would have a wider range of allies. So while, of course, he was well known for some economic policies, those economic policies were much more uh, prominent in their salesmanship than their in their actual effectiveness. He was really effective in foreign affairs, in, in diplomacy, and that is what his legacy will be. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Bill Emmett joining us from Dublin in Ireland. Thank you.